Right, welcome back. Okay, now we are going to talk about how we can approach different types of hybrid questions. Okay, so the questions that you will see in this video, these are non-exhaustive. Okay, uh, Cambridge might find more ways to ask all these types of questions. Okay, but uh, the trend should more or less be the same. Okay, so our first question, study sources A and B. How far does source A prove that source B is wrong? Okay, and uh, if you want to rephrase this to make it a bit easier for you to understand, essentially, right, this question is asking you, can source A be used to prove that source B is wrong? Okay, so what this question is really trying to ask you, okay, is that when we cross-refer source A and B, can we therefore straight away prove that source B is wrong already? Okay, the focus of this question is about whether source A is able to do that. Okay, so how do we start answering this question? Okay, our first step okay, is... Hold on, let me change the pen color. Okay, our first step is to always do our cross-referencing first. Okay, because we need to answer the question exactly. Okay, we need to see whether the assumption that is made in the question, can it really prove that source B is wrong? Okay, so you make sure that you ATQ exactly. Okay, and you do your cross-referencing. Okay, so source A, for example, proves that source B is wrong. Because, so you have to give me a reason for why source A is able to prove that source B is wrong. Okay, because source A contradicts source B. Okay, and then you will go on to do your normal cross-referencing. Okay, source A states that blah 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 which shows blah 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 and then source however source B states that blah 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 and therefore shows that blah blah blah. Okay, so in this sense, right, this first line that we are using to ATQ is already our linking statement in this sense because we have already given a reason for why source A can prove that source B is wrong. Okay, what's a bad example of your first paragraph? Okay, the thing is that many of you, the moment you see this question, right, study sources A and B and then you will assume that it's a simple comparison question. So what you should not do, okay, this is a bad example. Okay, is that you answer sources A and B are different in terms of. Okay, I repeat. Uh, do not do this. Okay, this question is not a simple or it's not just a comparison question. Okay, nothing in this line that you have answered over here addresses the question that uh, addresses this question over here. Lah. Okay, so make sure you do not answer this as a comparison question. Make sure you ATQ exactly. Okay. Right, so what do we do next after we do our cross-referencing and ATQ exactly? Then you need to ask yourself, eh, is it really enough or not uh, that source A contradicts source B and therefore source B is wrong? Okay, and as historians, I hope you all already know that obviously this is not enough. Uh. Okay, so what do we need to do next? We need to check whether source A can be used to prove B is wrong or not. So our next step is actually to check 
okay, the provenance of source A in order to check its reliability. Okay, so it's to check the reliability of source A. Okay, so again, when we are checking reliability, there are two steps that we can take, right? Okay, and the two steps... Okay, our two steps would be to, again, do another cross-referencing, or you can check the provenance, okay, evaluate the provenance of the source. Okay, but just now we already say what, right? Cross-referring is not enough. So for your second paragraph to achieve a higher level, <clears throat> you can actually jump straight to evaluating the provenance of the source. Okay, but if you are not confident about it and you want to give yourself a safety net uh, in terms of the level of marks that you can get, then you may choose to do cross-referencing first before moving on to provenance. But only do this if you really have the time. Lah, okay? So remember in SBQ, especially under exam conditions, it is also about uh, working smart and making sure that you are using your time efficiently. Okay, so step number two, check the reliability of source A. Okay, I will personally do it through checking the provenance. Okay, to see whether the source is biased or not. Okay, and to find out why it will be biased or why it is not biased. Okay, and of course, you must remember to write your linking statement. Okay, which is that since... Source A is biased, it is unreliable, and therefore, ATQ are linked back to the question and therefore unable to prove that source B is wrong. Okay, without this linking statement, your checking of reliability is totally useless. Okay, if you don't address the question, your second paragraph wouldn't make sense at all. Okay, so always, always make sure to you write your linking statements, make sure that you ATQ. Okay, then some of you might be wondering now, eh, source B don't have to check the reliability yeah. Okay, so for this question, what is so special is that it doesn't really matter whether source B is wrong or not. Okay, because the focus of this question is not on B. Okay. Okay, because our focus of this question is actually on source A. Right, okay, we'll take another short break. Okay, try to process what you have learned so far and then the next few questions should be a little easier in terms of trying to understand how to do it.